Good day, fellas. I hope you are doing well. Look, um, let's talk about a 1.18 patch. While most of the people are focusing uh, EPSCE and JoyT44, while most of the people enjoys uh, or talks about the Italian line, we have a secret gem um, going on there. Um, it's called Amex M454. Uh, this tank is breaking the records of the game currently. Um, for example, uh, people are going for 6,000 DPG, what that means, uh, 6,000 damage per game and marking the tank. It is absolutely insanity and the tank is, as wrong as it sounds, the tank is not broken, but the tank is very, very strong. What they have done, pretty much they changed the gun and 130 gun is, it became extremely accurate. Pretty much, yes, with this tank, you kind of need to spam the full gold and everything, you know, gold ammunition is just better. You have 46 more penetration and a bit more shell velocity, which is absolutely insanity and it is good. Um, obviously, this is like a tryhard setup, if I can say so. But I really want to show you this. If you want to check out expectation values, I would highly recommend to check out index page. At this point, this vehicle is rated epic. Um, at least, uh, at least in the index page, right? Uh, the gun handling got uh, improved. Uh, soon, marking difficulty will get improved as, as well because it's uh, uh, it is becoming harder and harder to mark this vehicle and so on. But the things I want to focus on, if you would pay attention lately. Lately, mark of excellence on this vehicle was barely 4,000 or 4.1,000. Now, expectation values to get mark of excellence on, it's going to raise up to the sky, and I think expectation values for this tank is going to be like 5.7,000, maybe even 6,000. In other words, it is a hidden gem, and maybe we're gaming over buffed uh, um, the vehicle or something, but it doesn't look broken, it has weaknesses, but the tank is very, very powerful. We are going to go with a typical setup although there is plenty of setups which you could have with a tank for example you can um, replace ventilation with let's say improved hardening and you can do things just fine or alternatively you can actually you know what let's use improved hardening on this vehicle for this video why the heck not why not to um, have some fun anyways uh, my goal is to have at least 5,000 combined playing with this vehicle. Without further ado, let's teleport into the game and this is the tank you need to look for, not uh, the Misotauro. What Misotauro means whenever you are missing a lot. Anyways, let's go. Okay, we are back in the very first uh, game. So, I don't really want to play against the Minotauros. The main reason is because if they will play hold down there, it's going to be... A humongous pain in the ass to deal with them and I prefer not to. So instead of doing that, what I'm going to do, I am going to go into the heavy line and hopefully that will work just fine. Now, hopefully we are not going to get outspotted here. It is extremely, extremely important thing. Let's see. Are we alright? Oh yes, we are definitely alright. Nice. Okay, let's see what we are going to meet in this area and can we beat the living crap out of the enemies without even asking their name. This is the question. <laughs> A chat, chat went nuts and said, are you doing a video? Yes, sir, I am. Okay. This is the very... This is the start for us. Let's see, can we spank the Minotauro in the lower plate? Yes, sir, we can. Beautiful. Meanwhile, enemy Arta is focusing on this side. This is actually pretty messed up thing for us. I do not really like this, but I do not really think I can change anything about this. Yes. Well, not a big surprise, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. I have a feeling we are going to be uh, stunned um, quite a bit in this game. I have a feeling. Let's load some, um, some golden shells because we are dealing with the big boys. We are dealing against the E3s and so on, so on. So we are... Uh, we need all advantages we can get. And as you can see, the tank itself is very, very powerful. 
Um, by saying this, I mean you have extremely good gun, and if it is not enough, you have extremely good, uh, um, actually pretty good combination of the things. You have a nice, uh, you have a nice armor. You have nice mobility. Um, gun handling of this vehicle became Super Conqueror levels, fellas. And what that means, Super Conqueror levels of the gun handling means it is able to pretty much beat everyone, literally everyone. It doesn't really matter how much you are aiming, you can actually snapshot, which is absolutely amazing thing. You can beat the living crap out of the enemies, pretty much. You can make them very, very, very unhappy. Bad shot by me. Bad shot by me. I'm not very happy, but it is how it is. Let's finish Minotauro. He needs to go to sleep. Nice. And now we can beat the living crap out of E4. Even with this kind of situation, right? When, let's get real, this push is taking a lot of hit points from us. It still looks decent and it still looks completely fine, right? At this point, we are going to try to focus on this Elite E3. Or actually Elite E4. And we are going to be fine. We should be able to claim his life without bigger problems whatsoever at least that's what i want to believe nice and at this point i think we need to go in the um for a base uh, capture i know it sounds very very weird uh but it just how it goes in this kind of situation we need to cap the base or do we you know what i want to slaughter artists they effed me so damn hard in this game so i think slaughtering artists might be the right way to do the things let's go or to go overall for a base defense. We have some people who are capping. The thing is that looking into the score of this game, it looks very, very badly, you know? This is, uh, I really want to show you a high quality gameplay, right? And um, a high score overall, but I don't really think um, it is going to happen in this situation just because our team is capping the base. Which is quite sad thing, but this is reality and I am not making this uh, shit up if you know what I mean. That was another shot. Anyways, the whole highlight of this vehicle, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, the tank is pretty flexible. You can play in the medium line, you can play in the heavy line. You can go completely nuts, you can use turbo, you can use hardening, you can use whatever um, your heart wants to use. And obviously sometimes games like this are ha is happening, I lost more most of the hit points for enemy artists there is nothing what i can do about this i got hit by the um by the jve 100 two or three times i got hit by the budget once or twice can't really remember so you know nothing what we can change about this and still with all of this focus we managed to get um 3000 damage i know the start is bad from now on we can go on lap so let's teleport to the second game Okay, round number two. What do we have? We have Paris, we have tier 10 matchmaking. Also, one more thing I really want to highlight is this tank is extremely powerful against the lower tiers. Against the tier 10s, everyone has a decent uh, penetration and so on. But against the lower tiers, this tank is like super powerful. Powerful to the level of wow. That's powerful, you know what I mean? So, this is definitely a worth thing to highlight and just to say it out loud. I'm going for a blind shot like this because you never know when you are going to hit those. Now what we are going to do, we are going to knock the trees here. So we are going to start everything just tiny touch more passiver if I can say so. But we are going to make the things work. Okay, I'm my ex, he made a huge mistake. If he is going to try to fight against us, he made a humongous mistake, fellas. I can guarantee you that. IS-4 is sitting here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Looks like they do not want to get involved yet. Fine, fair enough. Even though Amix decided to take the middle street, uh, it is not hurting us. Uh, we just do not care about that whatsoever. So... Let's see, 277, bam, right into the balls of the 277, that's good, even though we are spotted, we couldn't care less about this, and I hear Arda incoming. 
Yeah, 20 second stun is pretty damn powerful and not the most enjoyable experience but to be completely honest with you I do not really think I can do something about this. So in this situation I am just chilling and even though I'm stunned oh well what can you do. We will wait for 3 seconds longer and we will try to hit the 60 dp and once again the alpha damage and the gun is treating this vehicle extremely extremely well. You can look at this however you want to, but it is looking just great. Pure Sam in the enemy team, um, Aka 666 hit points of the, um, of the 60 dp. I need to keep this in mind and let's see. Can we punish this gentleman? I think he shed his pants already. I do not really think he is even planning about peeking like this. At least it doesn't look like he is planning to do that. And he penetrated us in the face for... Uh, um, for 460, that was actually pretty surprising. Okay, fine, fair enough. Can we spank this gentleman crossing like this? I think that is a mistake from my side. I am just feeding this guy and probably I'm getting penetrated. I don't even know, into the side somewhere or whatever. You name it. My fault. I cannot complain about this and enemy art isn't coming once again. Um, I am misplaying with this vehicle. I'm not going to lie, fellas. I am a bit misplaying with this tank, no, maybe not even a bit, but I'm misplaying a lot with this tank. Um, I am making some silly goose pressure decisions, and those silly goose pressure decisions are leading me to take one for the team when I shouldn't, you know? And that is the fault of mine, I cannot blame anyone else for being, a, for being silly myself. So far we have two and a half thousand, obviously it's only the start. Uh, there is still a lot of ways how we can improve this and we will try to do our best. Now, what I would like to do, I would like to punish this gentleman sitting here about the time 5.15 in the face. Look at the alpha damage and the accuracy. It is not proportional if you know what I mean. Um, it is not normal to have such a great accuracy with such a big alpha damage. It just doesn't make any sense whatsoever. This is the thing. With this tank you do not really want to side scrap because weak, uh, your um, weak spots are the shoulders obviously. So side scrapping is not what you are looking for. Um, but obviously it depends on the situation. Right? Sometimes, sometimes it is the best way to do the things. Meanwhile, how are you doing? Look at this gun accuracy boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. Look at this gun. What this tank is capable of doing, it is absolutely nuts. You can farm damage left, right and center. You can spank enemies uh, however you are pleased and however you want to. It is, it is absolutely insanity, obviously. Uh, in order to get the greatest success, um, AP, aka gold ammunition is just... Um, I can't say it's must, but it is It is way better than a standard ammunition, okay? Let's put that in this way. Okay, can we finish him off? Good. 5.6 thousand damage, 1.7 thousand assisting damage. I cannot complain about this performance by any shape or any form, fellas. I just cannot perform. I just cannot complain about this. It is absolutely epic. It is legendary, and it is just great, right? We should be able to finish this gentleman off, and he is officially dead. So we have 6.1 thousand damage and 1.7 thousand assisting damage. This tank is insane. If you know what you are doing. This tank will treat you extremely, extremely well. Um, and I've seen very, very good players, you know, the elite of World of Tanks, the sweaty tryhards trying to make the vehicles work um, and, uh, and trying to give their heart their best and their mother for a damage. Uh, they made this tank work to the level of, of craziness, okay? Us plebs, fellas, we can dream about this, but uh, in the same time, Keep this in mind, um, I believe this tank is going to treat every single um, gentleman well. And if you haven't checked this vehicle out, I would highly recommend to. It is very, very strong. Those 
minor changes made this tank um, absolutely amazing. So looking into all of this 6.1 thousand damage, 1.7 thousand assisting damage, we are top by the damage and top by experience. And we also in the, in the same time broke even. Can you imagine? We broke even. Even while spamming so much gold. Okay, let's go for round number three. Oh, yo, 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 I am feeling sad for enemies. Listen, this is not going to be really fun for them. Um, what do we have? We have uh, tier 8 matchmaking. You know what that means? That means enemies will have a blast. They will, their ass will literally get blasted. Yes, it's not a good spawn for us. Yes, this can be quite annoying, but we will try to make it work and we will try to punish enemies for their mistakes and for their stupidity. Um, what we want to do, we want to take the middle. I think middle is the way to go, although maybe there is better positions where we can play. Just in case I really want to spank this Leo playing here for 500 in the face, that is good. Even though we stopped, uh, we stopped here for a moment, I think in the end of the day it was kind of worth it. I'm going to say thanks for this guy because um, he bumped into me because I stopped for the, for the Leo one to spank him, but we are fine. Uh, one more thing to highlight, the high explosive ammunition of this tank is very powerful. 640 alpha damage is, uh, is strong and whenever tanks like, let's say, Borat is trying to make... Uh, um, pressure and they are trying to peak, uh, this might be very very bad story for them. At this point we are just waiting and we are being very very patient over there, you know, that's what we are doing. I see the board spotted us, I'm aware of that and you know what, I think it is about the time to farm this IS-7. I know it sounds a uh, weird skill, really farming IS-7, absolutely yes, this gentleman will regret his life choices and we are going to show dominance against him i think that's what we can do uh, and it doesn't really matter he has support or he doesn't have support who cares he doesn't have enough penetration to uh, deal with us reliably and that's what i want to see and that's what i am looking for so in this situation all we need to do we need to say hello for him all we are doing is we are getting a bit closer and we are spanking him like there is no tomorrow. I can't really penetrate him reliably with a standard ammunition, so I will load some gold and we are going to say hello. He is not feeling happy, he is looking at me, I am looking at him, both of us are having a great time. Well, I don't know about bo both of us, but I am definitely having a great time. I am tracking him and he is officially doomed. There is nothing what this gentleman could do and there is nothing what he can change about this. So he pretty much needs to bend over and he simply needs to be um, sent back to the garage. I believe our team will kill him like there is no tomorrow and now we can go into the middle. Um, looking into the start of this game, I believe there is a chance we are going to get six to 8,000 damage. Let's see, can we do this or not really? Since we, are dueling, uh, since we are dealing with a big boy motion, I believe we can load the um, golden APs. And once again, the, um, what kind of ammunition you need to shoot with this tank? You need to go mostly with, uh, with golden APs. If that is something what you cannot stand and what you don't like, then you know it is a bit of the problem. But if you couldn't care less, and if you can afford this, you know, I am speaking about the price of the, um, I am speaking about the price of the um, ammunition, you know, if you are not willing to pay or you are just feeling, or just, you are just feeling bad by going with, um, with a gold ammunition in the first place, then, you know, maybe it is not the finest selection and maybe it is not a finest uh, option for you. Anyways, what we want to do, we want to send this guy straight to the garage. This is exactly what we have done. We will drop the smiley face for our um, Vaza. And we are booming and we are playing. Now, what is the worst thing for us? There is a Borat on top of the hill. I think in this situation, we can actually go on top of the hill and we can dig the Borat out. This is very important thing. Also, one more thing to say, 
Uh, this tank, if you are using, let's say, turbo and other stuff, right, you can actually uh, be a proper armor and you can spank enemies like there is no tomorrow. I need to relocate now. Um, unfortunately, every single gentleman who decided to be aggressive, they are taking one for the team and this is not what we are looking for. We are going to load the high explosive ammunition for a Borat who is going to peak in a moment and we are waiting here to hold down. This is what we are doing and this is what we are waiting for. So, this is our home, this is our position. We are Arta safe, so we are going to show a middle finger for Artas and we are just waiting until Borat will say hello. Mm, there is a huge chance, there is a huge chance um, Mr. Borat will try to peek like this and if he will try to peek like this obviously our mission is to say hello for him and to spank him. This is what we are looking for. As you can see our Wafflecock decided to make a bit of pressure and that definitely did not pay off. Speaking about the things what paid off, uh, Borat took one for the team and Borat lost most of his hit points and now he is down to fartable. At this point I would like to punish people sitting over there and this is what we will try to do. I can spot, I can spot this Asterva and I will try to do my best while doing so. Uh, obviously not as easy as I would love to say and I would love to see, but this is what we got. Can we see anyone sitting here? Oh yes we can, beautiful, very very nice, I should repair everything in time and now we are just simply going back. This is Terva is still trying to be annoying for us, but to be completely honest with you it means for shit. It doesn't mean anything for us. We are still feeling pretty great. Yeah, the death is near. Uh, enemies played better and enemies are winning this game. But it doesn't mean we are going to give up anytime soon. That means we are going to fight till the last moment until enemies will be aggressive for us and we will spank them left, right and center. Next shot after this one is going to be the gold ammunition so we can start uh, doing the, some heavy lifting for obvious reasons. And we will see how much we can farm in this game before, uh, before going completely down. Speaking about going down, there is IS3 who is saying, skill do you mind to kill me? I don't mind. I don't mind, I can spank you. Meanwhile T30 here doesn't really change anything. I am trying to make complicated angle to penetrate for this gentleman here, that's okay. Estherva, how are you doing? Good. Very, very, very good. Wait a bit. This T30 should peak in a moment. So if I'm not mistaken, we should be able to spank him for, uh, for another go. Estherva is trying to go on top of the hill, not so soon my little friend. And now we can try to go and decap the base if it is possible, right? Actually, I'm not even going to bother to go for that. I'm going to take another guaranteed shot and we will accept this. Look, another 7,000. It is a... It is very, very strong tank, okay? And this is not me tryharding. Uh, if I can go uh, with a game 6,000, 7,000 back to back, obviously the first game was a bit weaker. Um, that means the tank is very powerful. And keep this in mind, neither I use the bond equipment, neither I use the uh, full gold setup, even I fired quite a bit of gold. Uh, neither I use the big uh, repair kit or med kit, this tank would be even more powerful than this. So looking into all of this, we have 7.1 thousand damage, we have 900 assisting damage, and this is very, very strong vehicle. Looking into our performance, we played for 5.4 thousand damage damage and for 900 assisting damage, right? Uh, test this vehicle out yourself um, and leave the comment down below what do you think. In my opinion, there is multiple ways how you can play with this tank. As you can see, this is working just fine. I could obviously replace improved aiming uh, uh, to improve the ventilation if I really want to. Um, I can use the directive as well to boost the tank quite a bit. Big repairs, big medkit, full gold and so on, so on. So that means I am 
lowering my chances of failing. Anyways, I really wanted to highlight this uh, setup and this situation for you. So speaking about the last game, unfortunately, we lost the game. Um, but in the same time, we made some credits as well. Quite, quite ridiculous, if you would ask me. 17 shots fired, 17 hits. Absolutely nuts. Anyways, thank you very much for watching, fellas. I hope you had a blast and I hope you enjoyed yourself. And this is a true star of 1.17 update. Not the, not the Misotauro, not the Viper. Um, this is the star, fellas. Trust me on this one. This is the star. Anyways, thank you very much for watching and see you very, very soon. Skill is out for today. Peace.